The goal of today's challenge was to invite architects from uh, Middle East and Africa to create what is their idea of future of work. had a lot of submissions at the beginning and uh, the finalists created uh, just great material and yes we didn't give uh, too many indications we just wanted them to create uh, a floor plan of 500 700 square meters we wanted them to create something that could reflect uh, their characteristic their, their way of working it's really difficult to anticipate what the future may look like i think we've all seen that the future may throw any challenge at us and we just have to be ready, right? The whole experience was very interesting. There's so many ideas, there's so many things to combine and bring to the table, making it human-centric and revolving around the idea of community so that people get together, making the office like your second home. We also try to look for who are we designing in, in the future, right? We're thinking about people that are going to be working in the future are younger generations now. So we dissected the profiles of these people and, and created a space that's catering to them. For us, it's a future of place instead of the future of workplace. Our team actually, as you know, comes from different parts of the world. And besides having different experiences themselves at a personal level, they deeply did a lot of research and we really realized that how important flexibility and adaptability of a real estate space is. When I attended a recent talk of Deepak Chopra at the Museum of the Future, he was talking about us being human beings and not being human doings. In this winning project, I thought they really thought about how connections are made between people, between spaces, but also between systems and the relationship that we have with things and objects in the workspace. Every uh, member of the team worked on something. Uh, some people worked on the selection of the furniture, others worked on selecting the materials, and uh, some others worked on creating the concept and getting the floor plans, and the floor plans were, were, <laughs> were very hard. That was the hardest part, actually, to find a good floor plan. The overall experience was fantastic. We absolutely loved doing this challenge. It opened a lot of new information. We learned a lot about the different varieties of furnitures, different collections. We all are very fun, eventful people, so we wanted fun areas and we tried to incorporate Herman Miller into all of these areas and it was a very, very fun experience.